All right, welcome to We Wednesday, Life Transformed. Robert Bolden and Dan Hendon joining us here today. So if you're new to We Wednesday, this is what I do, what we do every week at about this time. And the premise is that during each week, there are aha moments that I personally get. I'm sure you do too. So this is my uh, speaking into the world. Here's an aha moment for me. Dan joins us most of the time, and you're welcome to join us as well in the future. Just reach out to us uh, and let us know, and we can bring you on via Zoom, and then we'll just broadcast it over live on YouTube like we are today. So here we go. I'm going to start with um, Luke 15, 20. So the first four words in that passage are so he got up and we're talking about the prodigal son okay he, he found himself you know in amongst the pigs and it's like yeah so he got up so he got up and the the wisdom was don't get stuck between honesty and action so he was he was there and he's honestly like going man look what look what i've done I squandered all my money. I'm here with the pigs. I, you know, I've just, I've just really jacked myself up. So that's fine. That's honesty. First thing, be honest with yourself. But then don't get stuck between honesty and action. It's so easy to be honest and just say, oh well. <laughs> I'll just stay amongst the pigs. Oh, well. Don't get stuck between honesty and action. Obey even when you don't feel like it. All right? If you can obey, obey God. Obey what you know is right in your heart. Your heart doesn't want you to stay stuck. God doesn't want you to stay stuck. So obey when you, even when you don't feel like it, then our feelings will catch up to our actions. Artificial becomes authentic. That is the part that blew my mind. Because in our culture, what I've always, you know, heard, I'm sure you've heard it too, be you, be real, be authentic, be who you are, whatever you're feeling, say it. No, feelings can lie. Feelings can lie. They're not reliable. Feelings are not reliable. I'm just saying they're not reliable. So I love this message here. Obey even when you don't feel like it. Obey. You know what God would want you to do in a given situation. So obey even though you don't feel like it because feelings can lie. Then your feelings can start to catch up to your actions. So let's say you don't feel like getting up out of the pen and then you get up and you do it and you just go and pretty soon, oh, well, that worked out okay. I didn't do what I felt, but it worked out okay. Pretty soon, now your actions, which are the most important things, what you feel doesn't matter really in the big scheme of things. It's what, what actions you take. Now your actions which they weren't authentic in the beginning because you didn't feel like doing it. But now they start to be authentic the more you can take actions and not getting stuck between honesty and action. Dan, thoughts, impressions? Well, action is something that I think is very, very important. Um, scripture talks about that there will be times when um, people seek out um, teachers that will um, basically tickle their ears. Mm. And uh, I think that that comes in a couple of different flavors. Usually when I hear people talk about that, they talk about people or pastors that are preaching something other than scripture, preaching against what scripture says, just telling people, hey, do whatever you want, da, 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 da. Um, I've, I've also found another 
type of tickling ear preacher where it's, hey, come fill up on all this knowledge, but it's all academic and it doesn't translate into action. Um, or it translates into the actions that we as um, church people are generally not partaking in. So therefore, um, it has little to no effect on our lives. Mm. And so if we are genuinely encountering scripture, um, if we're coming at it with an open heart saying, God, change me, transform me, make me more into the image of um, Jesus, then we are going to encounter scripture that will convict us. And we're not going to, um, our, the Holy Spirit inside of us will not be okay with us remaining in the same place. Um that doesn't mean that that change is going to come easy um, or quickly even, but if we're going to be people of scripture, followers of Jesus, because Jesus knew and followed scripture better than any of us could. So if we're going to follow him, we're going to follow scripture. Uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's going to require change and transformation. Um, if if God always agrees with you, then you're not looking at God. Yeah, uh, the false God. Well, you know that's true. And I think I was just I was just journaling about that today. The more you're in, the more I read the Word, the more I read Scripture, the more I get to know through Jesus who God is. The personality of God, what what He's all about, and then guess what? My actions become become those kinds of actions that He is wanting me to partake in anyway. It's like the more you read it, the more you understand. It's a relationship. You you understand. Oh yeah, this is what this dude's all about. I like that. And pretty soon, it doesn't have to be inauthentic. So the more you're in the Word, the more your actions are going to be authentic. The more your plans will be authentic, they're going to be God honoring. The more your prayers will be, in my view, answered because they're going to be not because of you, but because they're in alignment with what God's plan is. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to butcher the quote, so I'm just going to paraphrase it. Um, but Prayer is not getting God to conform our circumstances to our desire, but prayer is our um, conforming and changing our desires to, to line up with that of God's. Amen. Isn't that good? I mean, it's almost like a good filter litmus test. If I'm praying the wrong way, oh God, give me this. Oh God, I don't want to be sick. Oh God, blah, 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 blah. me, 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 me. Guess what? Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. But you know, if if we're praying to to honor His name, if we're praying to be a blessing in someone else's life, you know, those kinds of prayers. Those, those are the prayers that God's like, yes, that's what I sent my son there to teach y'all. That's what you need to do. Serve others and be blessings in other people's lives and do all that stuff. So I get, I'm excited. This is fun. And it's not wrong to ask God for things. Oh. Um, it's the, the question, I think, and for me often comes down to, Am I willing to submit to his decision or am I going to judge God based on my will, my desire? Yes. Yes. And there are times when I pray for something and God answers it and it's like, wow, this is awesome. And then there are other times when I'm praying for something and I'm praying for something and I'm praying for something and um, God says, 
I've got something better for you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it, it, it takes humility on our part to be willing to say, all right, God, I trust you and um, help me to want what you have for me rather than what I had designed. Yes, yeah, spirit versus soul, brother. That's always the dilemma that we're in. Do I, am I chasing the soul or am I following the spirit? <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, I get all fired up with this stuff. And you know, the cool part about God is he's available to everybody. Jesus is available to everybody. The teaching is in the book and it's it's published in lots of languages. I know the effort is going on in the world to get it you know, translated into all the languages so everybody has access to the word. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it's all about. So if you're out there and you're watching this We Wednesday and you're like, I don't know if I ever believed in this God thing or Jesus thing, but these two dudes seem to be pretty fired up and seem to be going pretty good for them in terms of they're just excited about, you know, making this world being a light for this dark world, if you're one of those people and you just don't quite know how to do it, well, get in touch with us. Or at the very least, just open a Bible to the New Testament and start reading over there. Don't start in the Old Testament. It could scare you. It'd be like, it did me. It didn't make any sense to me. So that's just, uh, just take uh, it. On the, on the opposite thing, it was the Old Testament that drew me back to God. Oh, very good. It was seeing how God was faithful even when his people were not faithful and how God kept drawing people back to himself um, through the Old Testament that helped me to realize that God's character is not defined by his people's actions, but instead um, God's character is something for us as his people to strive towards. Yes. Yeah, don't. Dan is giving y'all some wisdom there. Don't go against God's character. In the Old Testament is a great lesson to learn. They these people just kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And then some of the leaders kind of like us. Kind of like us, still going <laughs> on. And then the guys would say, God, you wouldn't don't do this. And God's like, okay, fine. <laughs> but he was always there. He was consistent. But man, you just don't want to be, you just don't want to be in judgment day in the sulfur lake. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to say. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. You don't want to go into sulfur lake on judgment day. So it's like follow Jesus, what Dan talked about earlier. Just follow Jesus. Simplest thing to do. Simple, not easy, but simple. You just, you just follow Jesus. You'll be countercultural. People will look at you kind of whack sometimes, but that's usually a good sign. You know, we Dan, just to wrap up, um, I read some I one of my other aha moments during the week. It was talking about, you know, how Jesus said, you know, if if you're supposed to carry something a thousand steps with somebody, carry it two thousand and you know, slap you on the face, give them the other cheek and give, ask for your shirt, give them your, you know, all that stuff. And that, that, that thousand to 2000 steps. So back in those days, if someone approached you to help them carry something, I might be getting this wrong, but you were obligated to carry it a thousand steps. So you can imagine you're busy. You got your own stuff to do. And I said, oh my gosh, I got to carry this thousand steps. So you get to that thousand step and you'll be like, all right, Boom, I'm done. There it is. Jesus goes, no, go 2,000 steps. So just imagine that other person who knows you're frustrated that you got to carry something 1,000 steps. And now you go 1,001, 1,010, 1,100. And you go 2,000. That Each step you go towards that 2,000, they're going, what's, what's this person? There's something. By the end of that 2,000 steps, that person's going to be like, Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Boy, oh boy, I'm changed. You know, because you just imagine somebody being like, wait a minute, they went above and beyond, didn't ask them to, didn't tell them to, and they're doing it. So that was another big aha for me is back to that humility. And, you know, we're just here to, to be the light. We're not here to get 
ourselves satisfied. You know, we're not here to stop at a thousand and throw them down and go get my ice cream or whatever the heck it is I was gonna do. You know, we're 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 called to be be the light. So any any last comments on that, Daniel? Well, um I want to challenge one thing that you said. All right. You said we're not here to be satisfied. And yeah. I'm going to challenge that to we're here to be satisfied in Christ. Oh, yeah, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, not I, like me, like my mm -hmm. selfish, sinful nature. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, you guys, thank you so much. This has been wonderful. Robert Bolden, Dan Hendon, We Wednesday. Join us every Wednesday, 1245 Eastern, approximately. And we'll jump on here and we'll share some of what you experienced today. Share this with your friends, like the YouTube channel, um, podcast, all the stuff that we've got going. If you want to be a guest, reach out to any one of us, either one of us, and let us know. And we will see you all next week. Take care. God bless.